As a fashion consultant, I try to help transform closets from storage to sanctuary, a place that welcomes your senses, sight, touch, even sound and smell. I consider myself a relatively tidy person, but with two constantly growing boys living out of one small closet, their wardrobe was a welcome territory to no one. Keep watching for a transformation that will knock your socks into color-coded order. One of the things I was most excited about when we were putting our kids' closets together was the opportunity to really make them unique, to make this their own personal space. I always say with our own closets, they should be our own personal boutiques, like the area we can go in and own. That's the same for these kids. This is an area that they can have control over and that they should really feel ownership over. So I'm gonna show you some techniques for doing that today on a kid's closet. One of the first things you wanna take into consideration when you're planning out a closet is the color palette. Now, think about the fact that with the clothes, they're going to be in there by necessity and they add a lot of color, a lot of pattern, a lot of interest in your closet already. So whatever you want to put on in addition to that needs to be relatively simple and relatively neutral. So here we've chosen a really simple pattern with the blue and white in the baskets. And then in the background we have the gold triangles. That is something that's going to add a little bit of personality but not a lot of visual distraction. Another thing you want to take into consideration when you're personalizing a closet are details. In a small space like this, little details make a huge difference. Here we've selected some custom knobs that reflected the boy's personality and age. And as you can see, little accessories like this make a huge impact. One of the last things that I really love about this closet is the opportunity for display. Because we've been able to use the space so strategically in other ways, it leaves us with a little bit of space that we can just play with. And I put some of the boys' favorite toys that they don't necessarily play with as much, but that really add a lot of personality to the room. So by making this little display area, it really shows that this is their room, this is their closet, and allows them to have ownership over the space. I regularly recommend adding welcome smells and sounds to my clients' closets. Something that relaxes or energizes, creating your preferred mood. Whether it's vanilla and lavender or Adele and Alicia Keys. For, for my boys' closet, which hosts everything from stinky shoes to dumpster diapers, I was going for not disgusting. A little air freshener creates a fresh clean zone which will hopefully inspire like behavior. Thanks for joining us today on the Cardigan Empire channel. Hopefully you got some ideas on how to personalize your kid's closet. Make sure you give me tips, questions, or comments. And what else do they need to do, Levi? Uh, subscribe and like, like, and subscribe. <laughs>